Uh, I'm joined by director and playwright Dumand Lovu now uh, just to further dissect, you know, the work and the life that he lived, uh, Mr. Ngema. So thank you so much, Mr. Lovu, for your time uh, this afternoon. I think, you know, maybe first and foremost, we, we, we've heard so much throughout the day about the work uh, that Mr. Ngema, you know, that he's done, the, the, the contributions he's made to the arts in, in South Africa, but also globally. But maybe you can also share a, a personal anecdote, a, a memory you maybe shared with the legend that he was, and, and something maybe that we don't know that you shared outside of, of, of the public eye. <laughs> and thank you. Thank you for having me. It is a sad moment. A giant tree has fallen. Uh, but also, it is times like this when we reflect on personal relationships mm. and when we take a personal trip down memory lane. And it's very, it's very easy for me to choose a personal anecdote uh, because it was told by him about a month or two ago. He went on some a podcast and he was being interviewed and he told the listeners about something that we did in New York uh, when we bought a goat, slaughtered the goat, took it, I mean, took it upstairs six floor, my, to my sixth floor apartment and slaughtered it and wore easy pants. It was one of the funniest things that happened. I mean, he was telling that story a few months ago. And I got so many phone calls, people asking me, you guys are so brave and bold that you were slaughtering goats in New York. <laughs> but he was uh, an energetic and a jovial mm. fellow and our relationship just on another level. And when he came that time, he said to me, uh, we both said we have to give thanks to the ancestors for all the success that we were going through. And the only way we knew how to give thanks was to slaughter a goat.